This video is on the topic of cold weather storage of lithium batteries. A lot of us don't know this, but although these batteries have three times the storage capacity or energy density, or maybe it's nine times, I think these might be the high dollar nine times. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to put these in this flashlight and show how bright the light is with these frozen batteries versus thawed batteries. Unfortunately, I did not run the thawed test first, so we will be doing that after. But I hear the batteries are only damaged by 1%, 1 to 3% when they're totally frozen. So let's hope I didn't just destroy this $15 bag of batteries. This is an extremely bright flashlight, so don't let this fool you. I mean, I know it looks bright, but maybe we'll get a secondary look. So this is non-thawed in direct sunlight. Frozen batteries. I don't know. It just appears that in the camera the beam is just so bright I'm getting total white out now. Or washout? Is that what they call that? Maybe not. Definitely appears brighter this time around. Okay, so in conclusion to all that, basically what I'm trying to get at here is what are the dangers of using lithium batteries in emergency situations? Like let's say that you're a rescue worker for the Coast Guard or you're in the military or you're an explorer or just a survivalist and you have packed all your gear with lithium batteries under the consideration of their extremely high energy density. You might want to reconsider that. It may be in our best interest to use the nickel metal hydrides in those scenarios or just standard alkalines. I don't know. It'd be nice to do some paperwork and do the math and get down to the actual numbers. You can Google it and there is a lot of reference to that. I'm just doing this video in light of that subject because of some problems I've had at work with cordless drills. If uh, you leave a lithium battery cordless drill out all night in a gang box on a job site in sub-zero temperatures, they will not charge the next morning. They will not work properly as well. They also lose, seems to be, you know, maybe 40% of their power. Once they warm up, all of this disappears, but uh, I don't know, I just thought that was a cool subject, and it was something I was never aware of, so I was compelled to post this video because I found a lot of useful information on YouTube, and I enjoy contributing to the process. Okay, so this is warm battery.